Right, hello. Um, now, the uh, Mavic camera. Now, you remember from the last video that I did, um, I got the camera back in, got the gimbal working, got the card on, everything was working perfect when I tested it, but I still had no video signal, which then told me that the other cable had also gone. Now, you know, I replaced the flat cable already, but this one is the video signal cable. I couldn't tell that that had gone. Um, it looked fine to me, but it had gone because I've got no video signal. So I've now got a, finally a replacement video cable, which means I've got to go through the whole process again of stripping the whole thing down and replacing this. Obviously, if I'd have known about that at the time, I would have replaced it at the same time. Now I'm flicking my eyes here because I'm actually recording for the first time on my new Osmo 2 mobile gimbal um, so I'm just trying it out to see how it works I've got the other camera running this camera running um, at the same time just in case it doesn't work so let's hope it does work because it'll be useful it's got good tracking um, as you see that one doesn't catch me that one's got me all the time so I like the idea of that okay let's get to work with stripping down this Maverick again down remember first thing I do get the battery off again six there six there take it apart um, now as you see there it's a new camera cover I got it you leave it on because it protects the camera from any side smacks and such it would have probably protected it in this instance if it ever happened but there yeah the future okay you know how to sit this down so i won't um, bore you with that again okay so we're under them two cables let's remove them two screws Right, set the vibration plate to one side and now we need to undo all these plates we need to take off again. So that's the posse. Just remove them all first. And then we have another cover there. So you see there's quite a lot more covers on this than there was for the flat cable. Flat cable would just remove the three covers. This one was five. And it's just case remembering where they all go. Maybe I should have taken some photos first. This one slides out, that's it, I remember that. Okay, so we've got the cable there. On the back, goes round, round that, through there, through there to there okay let's see if I remember right two more screws here oops hold the camera it can turn it's supposed to turn Okay, blade. We need a blade to get into that gap carefully. We don't do damage to his fingers as well. Place it down on something solid, put it into the gap. This and do a little twist. Cover. Same 
him again. Now I'm just gonna imagine this is just slow, tedious work. Mm -hmm. Got some movement on that one. Do the same again. Slow, tedious work. You just gotta do it. You want it apart. You want to fix it. You gotta do it. Take it steady. Do the same again. You can get the gimbal out there. Okay, that's successful. Check that. And check that. That's the gimbal. That's the camera. Right, and there's the lead in there. Very simple, really. Once you get into it, that's all you gotta do. You turn that off. Replace it. I can't see there being any difference in either end. There it is, off. Let's just check the focus in there. Yes, that one. So I don't get mixed up. <laughs> I doubt I will, but I hate to go through all this lot. Just to find I'll put the old one back on. Okay, and back in we go. And these are so fine, it's difficult to even tell which side is up and which side is down. Amazing. I'm going to all off, I'm just going to double check these other leads. Now I've got a proper tool for pushing them on. And the gimbal was working fine, nearly calibrating, it was working fine. So they was all connected. Oops, but they're not that connected. Look at that. They just popped up right there. Okay, well they're all okay. Right, bring it back out. The first one. That one. That one. It's still away, got the long one. <laughs> no matter. Right, this one slides on. So I want that cable in that slot. Not the bed part, get the insulated part in that slot, then put the cover on. Like so. That's good. I like the feel of that.
tube in. Right, so, okay, it's next direction is to come out of here. So imagine that's his protection part right there. I think the hardest part of this is just the holding things that are so small. And you can see pretty much where the covers go on the cable because the cable's got insulation over the strands. And for some reason where it's not, then it's just loose strands. Very vulnerable. Maybe it's a way of cooling down or something, I don't know. But it looks very delicate. And there we have two out of five. Done. Now these had um, nut lock on them, so make sure you give them a good nip. You don't want them coming off. Right. <coughs> yeah, I know that one. So this now we've got to go keep you on camera. There's the insulation from there to there. Now as long as it moves, it'll be okay. That's that. All the way around. Pushing that in to there. And there we have it. That's in. Yeah. Now this You've got to get that bit in first. It just clips in there. If you don't get it in, it won't go in afterwards. It's just underneath that like that. And while that one's off, then it goes in easier. Yep. Again, more for the gimbal. Pressing down again, just making sure everything is firmly in place. And checking all the way, all the time, checking nothing is getting obstructed. Okay, now we've still got some insulation there and we've still got a bit of travelling to do. So we're going round here this time and we'll have this funny little elbow piece that's going to go on. And it's going to go on there. Okay, and that's the last one. So, let's put this one straight over the top of it all. Make sure it's still free. It is still free. That's it. Again, transparent position. And I'll try and it. <laughs> and the last screw. Okay. That is the second cable will be placed. Right, now what we've got to do is get it all back in again. So, obviously the first thing, now keep that going to the vibration cable, the vibration plate. Uh, you've got to push in that underneath first, to there. Two screws are kept separate, because they're internal screws. 
Where's the fuzzy joints? You've really got to put a bit of pressure on this plate to push it up. And make sure that flat cable is not in the way when you tighten this down. You might nick it. If you nick it, that might damage it. Okay, now then, reconnect. Strange, usually you can feel these things as they get into position. But this one, you just can't. Not so much now. I'm going to magnify this. Yeah. Okay, that's us all nice and ready again. Put it all back into the Mavic. Get the cables reconnected. Okay. Now, before we go through the whole process of putting it all back together again, we're going to put the battery on and test. Let's see how we are. Okay, that's it all now reassembled. Um, I've not turned put the top cover on because I just want to test it first just to make sure everything is working fine. I've put the battery on. All I'm looking for now first is a, a good gimbal dance. Then I will check the uh, video cable, um, which hopefully all will work. Oh, a little noisy. Okay, right, well, gimbal's dancing, so cables are connected. Um, it looks a little bit out of line, but I think that can be calibrated. Right, let me turn the controller on. Okay. Right, we've got video link there. <coughs> okay. Right, well, it looks like everything there is working fine. We need to um, calibrate the gimbal. But other than that, everything else seems to be working fine. Um, it can see us. And it's holding quite nicely. Right, okay, so <clears throat> that is um, basically everything changed. Um, now to put it back together again and get it up and flying, I think. Yeah, calibrate it, get it flying. Right, okay, reassembly. You don't need to watch me do that. I'll just get on with it. <laughs> 